killed. Are you on something, kid? I'm as sober as a judge, Zakara. And I've been dealing with dumb mugs like you for decades. So shut your pie hole or I squirt metal. Toss me that little yapper of yours nice and slow. Looks like somebody should have spent a little less time watching all those Sam Spade flicks and a little more time on the football field. I should whack you what you just tried to pull here, kid. I gotta admit, I find you mildly amusing. So tell me, are you suicidal or just plain stupid? They might call you Crazy Anthony Z, but I know you ain't stupid. So let's go. Hand over the Roscoe. Nice and easy now. <laughs> if you think I'm gonna hand you back this gun, <laughs> I suggest you back off. Otherwise, your little black and white movie is not going to have such a happy ending. Now don't be a bunny. Jack will be I walks along and don't take sides. But I'd be willing to make an exception in your case. Now you might have the bulge right now, but I still got plenty of swift. Don't make me tighten the screws. I thought my crazy act was good, but you're the real deal, kid. Completely out of touch with reality. Now. Do yourself a favor. Don't move any closer. I really don't want to have to shoot you. This is way too much fun. I'm going to count from ten. If you don't toss me my Roscoe, I'm going to take it from you. They're going to wheel you out of here in a meat wagon. Ten. Nine. Five. Four. Hurry up and get to one, will you, kid? I'll gladly shoot you at this point. Really? <sighs> Let him go. Perfect timing. Your buddy here was just about to walk with a limp for the rest of his life. I suggest you and Sonny keep a closer eye on your employees. This one apparently fried his brain watching a few too many gumshoe flicks. He thinks he's stuck in the Maltese Falcon or something. This isn't over, Shikara. Frankly, Spinelli, I don't give a damn. Have fun with that one, kid. Make sure he doesn't come near me again. I won't always be this generous. Take that back what, now, what please. What are you doing? Anthony could have killed you. Crazy Anthony's all talk, no action. Believe me, I had him exactly where I wanted him, just like the sun stood before. Oh, if you need a few lessons about kissing people with your fists, I'm your man. Take it easy, Ox. Keep it. Keep your mitts off me from now on. You're right with a jacket. Shut up. Watch your mouth. Jacoby Ice dealt with plenty of trigger men like you before. You got any butts? What? Butts. Gaspers, cigarettes. I seem to have misplaced my deck of luck. You, you don't smoke, Spinelli. Yeah, whatever you say, pal. Oh, and thanks for gumming up my operation with Crazy Anthony. I had him right where I wanted him until you came along. I was going to give him a lesson in respect, just like I did the Sunster. You know what? You're, you're only alive because you know where Sonny's money is, and I begged everybody for the past week not to kill you. Well, I see. You're jealous. I get it. I get it. Makes sense, too. I mean, after all, you're just a trigger man, taking orders from the Shunster. Where me, see, I get to walk the mean streets solo, taking orders from no one. I feel your pain. You know, it, it must be uh, nice not to have to take orders from anybody, right? You know what, I could use somebody like you, actually, an uh, independent contractor. Is the Jackal P.I. available for hire? spot of trouble, eh? And who else would you turn to? Yeah, sure, I'll give you the go-ahead, but it's gonna cost you. But two for an hour plus expenses. Extra charge for going to be dodging slugs. No, I'll, I'll pay extra now because it's gonna be, uh, risky. Well, danger's my business. Now let's talk turkey. Give me the lay. The what? The lay. Of the land. Jeez, Morgan, you really are a sap sometimes. I need the details of the job. Yeah, the job. It's a surveillance job. Ah, 
Yes, there's a bakery, Luzetta's, on first. And it looks like a normal bakery, but I'm pretty sure that it's a front. Ah, the old hide behind the innocuous business routine, right. But what's really in the flour, eh? Exactly. So I need you to watch the bakery, keep track of who comes in and out. You see if Crazy Anthony actually shows up to supervise? No, 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 it's not this car this time. It's another crime family. They're even more dangerous. The Truillos. Okay, now look, this bakery, it looks normal. I think it's a front for their full operations, and I need to know what's going on in there, but I can't risk being spotted. That's why I need you. It's a wise choice, Morgan. And another thing, do not make contact with them for any reason. We cannot risk your cover being All blind. Right, hold up, Morgan. I'm no two-bit amateur. You're dealing with a pro. Don't you worry. Jack B. has got this under control. From what I've seen... Car. Well, how'd our deal go? The one you were supposed to push through for me today? Unfortunately, it didn't happen. Edward was talked into a lower bid by his great-grandson, Michael. I thought you said the kid was going to be a summer intern or something. That was my initial understanding, but Edward made him a junior exec. So Michael's already involved with the big money deals, huh? He shut down my bid to destabilize the LQ. I'm not too happy about that. Michael's involvement does make the whole thing a little more interesting. Why? Not that it's any of your business, but it gives me another chance to get Sonny's kid under my thumb. Why would you want to do that? He's not even very bright. You've already got me in place. I'm paying you to sabotage the LQ so I can use it as a front. Michael, on the other hand, is the ultimate bargaining chip. Yes, I'd like to inquire about your hours. I need to find a time to swing by to pick up some cupcakes for my cupcake. Perfect. Thanks for your time, sweetheart. Nelly, thank God. I thought maybe you had gotten yourself killed. Oh, break it up, baby. I don't got time for romance. I'm gonna need you to take it on the heel and toe. Why are you always trying to kick me out? I'm sorry, sugar lips. But I'm on the clock. Jack P. has got a case. Really? You have, have a case? What kind of case? Well, it's top secret, but... Since you're such a ripe little tomato, I'll tell you. See, Morgan's in deep with a dangerous family. Things are a little too close for comfort, so he needs me to keep my eyes peeled, you know. Stake out the mean streets. Be focusing on a little bake shop that ain't making cakes, if you know what I mean. Hey, Spanley. McCall. Couldn't stay away from the mean streets, eh? Well, I got good news for you. We got a new case. Big one. Risky, too. Morgan just gave me the rap. We're taking on the Trujillos. Hmm. Keeping tabs on their operational headquarters. The two of us should be able to put a finger on what's really going on. Hmm. Which got you all clammed up? You haven't fallen prey to all that sap from Morgan, have you? Don't tell me you're going to trash a perfectly good P.I. career to marry that palooka. If Jason's ever seriously considered proposing, he'd thought better of it by now. I definitely won't be getting married anytime soon. 